All right, I'm going to talk about the private IP version for addresses and what we all think of as addresses that are for private use. So there are multiple ranges of addresses. There are three ranges that are defined by RFC 1918. So RFC 1918. So the RFCs are for requests for comments and they list a bunch of specifications on how the internet works. And one of these private address ranges is the 10 dots. 10.0.0.0 slash 8. So because it's a slash 8, this is the entire 10 dot range, which means there's a whole entire single class A network. So it's one class A. <clears throat> then there are the 172.16.0.0 slash 12 supernet. So this is actually more than a single class B. It is 16 class Bs. 16 because it goes from 172.16 all the way up to 172.31 or for your class B classes. Now you have the one you find most in home routers 192.168.0.0 slash 16 this is also a supernet. It's because 192.168, this range, are all class C's. And so this third octet could be any number from 0 through 255. So it makes a total of 256 class C's. It's 256 class C's. The next range you'll find um, a lot of Windows machines have what is uh, referred to as the APIPA addresses. And these addresses all start with 169.254 and then they end with something 0, .0, .0 slash 16. So this is a class B and you're given the entire class B um, to use so whenever you have a Windows machine that uh, tries to use DHCP and get an address and fails to get an address it will be automatically assigned one of these addresses in the APIPA range. The idea is any two Windows machines can then talk to each other if they both can't see the DHCP server. It works for all Windows machines except I think for uh, Windows NT or all the uh, more modern ones have it. And then the last range is the uh, local local or local host um, range, which is actually 127.0.0.0 slash 8. So you get this entire class A. Most machines um, assign you the 127.0.0.1 address as the first uh, host in this local host local uh, uh, range, and then you can use this to connect to other. Uh, connect to yourself, I guess. You usually, use it to test your own servers, and these are the ranges that are for private use, and they are not. None of them are supposed to be routed outside of your local area or outside of your network onto the internet. Most um, border gateway. Um, routers will actually block out the RFC 1918 addresses. Um, the local host ones are usually blocked by the individual servers or hosts themselves. And so they reject anything that comes from 127.0.0. Anything, any of those things reject it unless it is from its own device. So if it comes in on one of the network interfaces, it throws away automatically. Anyway, these are the ranges that are your private IP address ranges.